Well, uh, much to talk about. I mentioned it over there in the, uh, in the laugh zone, the, uh, the monologue. The, uh, the 77th annual Academy Awards are this Sunday night. This is big. Every year, uh, like a billion viewers tune in to see if their favorite stars will take home the coveted Oscar. And tonight, I thought, let's get everyone in the mood for this huge event. Let's preview all the movies, stars, and fanfare in a piece we're calling Hooray for Oscars! <laughs> All right, anyway, it's alive! All right, we're talking about the Oscars here. Let's start by talking about the Oscar nominees for Best Actor. Now, the Academy tends to honor the portrayal of characters with disabilities. They tend to give awards for that kind of thing. So a lot of people think Jamie Foxx is a shoe in because he played a, a blind man in Ray. But Fox isn't a lock to win because the other nominees played infirm characters as well. Leonardo DiCaprio played Howard Hughes, a man with a crippling mental illness. Also, Johnny Depp's character in Finding Neverland had no body. I don't know if you saw that movie. Uh, yeah, it's true. Clint Eastwood's character in Million Dollar Baby had a metal spike through his head for the whole movie. And Don Cheadle's character in Hotel Rwanda was morbidly obese, which I thought hurt the movie and certainly... Well, of course, fashion's a huge part of the Oscars. Actresses spend a lot of time and money making sure their outfit is perfect, so it's especially embarrassing when two celebrities show up wearing the same thing. We've all seen that happen. Remember the Oscar night when Paris Hilton and Dakota Fanning wore the same dress? That was embarrassing. It was really, uh, I had no, at least gotten a better size. Now, most people know that when uh, Oscar winners go on too long with their speeches, Music begins playing to cut them off. But what happens, we were wondering, when the cutoff music then goes on too long? How do they stop the cutoff music? We actually found out. Take a look. And most importantly, thank you to our family who are here tonight, our sisters, our parents, along, cue the music. our children, our wives especially. Thanks so much, and thank you to you, Joe. Music's going long, cue the bear. Of course, the Oscars are an international event. This year is especially exciting for one nation in particular. Just two days ago, the people of Iraq voted in their first Oscar pool. It was a beautiful testament to the power of freedom. Here's a taste. Today, the people of Iraq came together and proved to the world that we can guess who will win the Oscars. But we will not be satisfied until the Academy recognizes the work of Paul Giamatti. It's a crime he wasn't nominated for Sideways. I tell you, it was a crime. <laughs> the fact is, we don't live in a fantasy world where picking Philip Seymour Hoffman will win you the Oscar pool. I'm sorry, I meant Paul Giamatti. Did I say Philip Seymour Hoffman? That's weird. Now, one type of movie that's always ignored by the Oscars is horror movies. And who better to talk to, uh, to that issue than our good friend Frankenstein? Let's bring him out here. <laughs> Hey there, Frankenstein. Yeah. So, Frankenstein, you've probably noticed how horror movies are routinely ignored by the Oscars. Yeah. Were you in any movies this year that the Academy overlooked? You were. Well, that's terrible. Can you show us a clip from that movie? This is too bad. All right, let's see it. The pizza man's here. How are we going to pay for this pizza? We'll think of something. <laughs> nice work, Frankenstein. <laughs> and finally, the Academy recognizes actors in starring and supporting roles. But this year, they've added a new category for best performance by an extra in a movie. And guess what? 
The Academy is allowing us to present that Oscar here tonight. Yeah, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for... Uh, I'm going to get the Oscar ready. The nominees for Best Performance by an Extra are... Lindsay Daniels for The Aviator. Francois Vacherly for Before Sunset. What you say? Truman Steinberg for Troy. I've wronged our father. If you want to take Helen back to Sparta, so be it. Michael Ferris for Troy. Spider Man. Why? And Jamie Foxx for Spider Man 2. And the winner is. The winner is Jamie Foxx. Congratulations, Jamie. Good job. All right, folks, we'll take a break. When we come back, Barbara Walters is here. Stick around.